All right, y'all, so this is Reflection Deep and Chef Ebony Rash Family Travel Vlog. And we are reacting. Are you doing something crazy about my hair? No. We are reacting to an update from Easy and Natalie. Um, Easy so X Natalie. Easy X Natalie and Josh. From, from the family project. From the family project. All right, so, <clears throat> so the name from Easy is face to face with Natalie's with my girlfriend's Girlfriend, brother. brother. Okay. Um, and then Family Project posted finally confronting Easy. Okay, but we're gonna watch Easy's, and Easy has about 12 ads. So, um, gotta make that money. Gotta make that money. Make sure you support. You support whoever you watch. You know. I came up with an idea because I was looking at the comments and the subscribers that we've gotten. And we just want to say thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank, uh, thank, you, thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And you guys are really like talking to us. And some of you guys said you love what we're, what we're uh, posting and stuff like that. I really appreciate it. So I'm thinking, do you think, can we do subscribe for subscribe for the first thousand subscribers? So they subscribe to us. So if they subscribe to subscribe us, we subscribe to back. I'm okay. cool with that. You cool with that? All right, so we're gonna take a look, all right? You almost got us kicked out? I guess the I got kicked out the house. The First of all, I'm pretty sure they almost always get kicked out because I'm always bring? screaming and yelling. The end of the world prank was dynamic. If you guys do, <laughs> right? don't know. Pretty much I would be sitting there got the other expressing neighbors. how upset I was about a video he decided to release knowing that I was super upset. You know, and we had to talk about it after her and, you know, him not reaching out to me. So, I'm back from Miami and, you know, he wants to talk to me. Of course, things shouldn't have escalated and got to the internet. And Natalie, of course, stuck in between all of this is, you know, going through a lot. And, you know, regardless of how we act on camera, and she might seem happy, but throughout the years, Natalie has been going through it. And the relationship between me and her brother has been affecting her mental health. Okay. And that's how deep this is. And I definitely, you know, want to just sit here and say, first and foremost, you guys going to bash in um, Josh's family. I would never, ever, ever, ever make anything intentionally to say, go bash. Your family. You know if I got that. a problem with you specifically, that's like I got a problem with how I handle it. Yeah, I could handle it better, but I'm not sending, and I don't want you to think or him to think that I'm sending my dogs or sending my fans or my subscribers to go bash him and his family. So I'm asking you guys to not do that, and I apologize on my end for that even happening because the the family has nothing to do with it. It's the issue is between me and him. So with that being said, you know I'm gonna go have that conversation with him for the sake of that. You know what I'm saying? Just like I come to the movie nights for the sake of that. Because I came to Christmas for Natalie. I'm going to have this <laughs> Ain't that what I told really? you? Again for Natalie. Because a lot the of the things I do and I've done with you personally or as a group thing, it was for the sake of Natalie. You know what I'm saying? So going over there, I hope, I pray that you don't have that same energy. Yes. video because I the lot of things that you were saying was very untrue about me you know what i'm saying you literally called me a liar so for you to call me a liar and call me self-centered and all this other stuff i hope that that energy is different 90 percent of the love that i've shown you and your family is the furthest thing from selfish so for somebody that actually knew me and got to experience a lot of that love it's just hard to hear i'm putting up a front for a camera like i'm over the top for a camera bruh 99% of my friends and my family can say, this is just who I am. Camera on, camera off. Is that what I said? That, that's why your sister was so attracted to me. That's why your whole family was attracted to me. But we all gravitated towards each other because of how outgoing, how energetic, how, how I am as a person. Hell, YouTubers that I meet think that I'm over the top without a camera being like in their face, without me holding the camera like, yo. I'm like, yo, what up? I watch your videos. I'm like, I'm always over the top. That's just how I've been my whole life. For you to say that, that I'm just like that for the camera, that's inaccurate, bro, and I'm not a liar. And you saying that I, me not. losing my shit, this is regular for you? Of course, for you, from your perspective. I lived with you guys for about a year, and it wasn't like technically lived. It was, I was always over there, but we all considered me living there. So of course you're going to see sides of me that I'm comfortable with around you. You're gonna see me argue 
we're gonna get into arguments. Just because you've seen that side as family would does not mean that I lose my turn, shit all like, the turn time. Turn it up on everybody. That's not mm-hmm. normal. What are you talking about? So, so for you to say all of that is just like wow. I don't, I don't know what else you can say when I come to talk to you, bro. But just hearing that alone is just like wow. But you know that the conversation that we have had, it was literally a conversation that obviously wasn't good enough for us to even be friends. We're just kind of at this point dealing with each other, tolerating each other. You know, of course, to deal or tolerate with somebody, you have to have a conversation. You know what conversation I'm talking about. That's why I lost my shit when it came to that prank. Because some of the stuff that you were saying bothered me and triggered me. And for y'all to understand why I lash out, or sometimes I'll tweet some stuff because y'all don't know everything that goes on. So the stuff that I've been dealing with emotionally behind closed doors and the slick shots that are public, one person can only take so much after years. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not saying it's right to run the social media, but damn, bro, I see some stuff that you post on social media where it's like, damn, bro, okay. An actual prank that I'm actually in where you actually see how upset I am? Come on, bro. Is that what I it said? shouldn't have made it to He didn't me. have to publish it. And that's yeah. why I reacted okay. the way that's I did I said. on the internet. And it's, it, Natalie crying is has a lot to do with us not getting along and the the stuff that y'all don't see off camera that has happened you know we stopped being friends for an argument that got hella deep but the mental state of my girlfriend right now is very important to me and it's not just because of me so i'm gonna go ahead over to his house right now we're gonna have a conversation before i go over there like i said i want you guys to not bash anybody these videos aren't to bash anybody and i've never told any of my supporters to bash anybody but I'm telling you guys, y'all don't have to bash anybody. So I'm gonna have this conversation with you, bro, and we'll, we'll see how it goes. First of all, Ejan, they should have tell your supporters, don't and stop. Don't say you don't have to. Say, stop, do not. That is not appropriate. That is not okay. That is not fine. Well, I, I feel is like not she did okay. that. I feel like she I mean, she that. said it, but she, I mean, you She's can say stop and no do I don't it. want you to do it. Okay. And y'all don't have to do it. She's saying you don't have to do all of that. People are still going to do it. So she's doing the right thing. People are still going to do it. She's saying, I don't condone it. That's not something I'm asking anybody to do. I'm just saying, just say it simple, plain stop. No, finito. Don't do that. I mean, when it comes to Natalie, she does dead it like that. But this is probably different because she knows whatever she's dealing with behind the scenes. And I just want to go on record having said, I told you guys almost everything she just said. I said this. I I think I said this too. Uh, no, I'm mean, no all of it. He didn't have to publish the video. I said that he should have waited, let it settle, figure it out, talk, hash it out, do whatever. Not air it for the views, knowing she's mad. And that means that said a lot more about the context of their relationship that he was willing to uh, to air it, knowing she was pissed. That's you true. really want to go there? That's true. That, that says a lot. No. All right, let's check it out. You want to talk about the things that happened to break up the family bro. project? This is exactly what happened. No, it's not. It's just kicked out. No, 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 I almost got kicked out, bro. Is this can't shut your mouth? Is this not my video or not? Are we gonna do it like we said we was gonna do it? All right, all right. So for y'all, like, like, okay. So to break it down, pretty much, obviously, I came. Damn, what happened? That we were gonna make sure. Sure, he talks and I talk. And how this conversation has been going? Why didn't he get a mediator? It's not working like that. Okay, so now that I have my camera set up in my bro, video, bro. you literally want to talk I shit. I talk shit. You want to call me fake, bro? Trying to act all bro. bro. I'm not I acting cool. I'm not bro. acting cool. I'm not acting cool, bro. Y'all can go watch the video, bro. You literally call me fake, bro. Talking about my shit ain't genuine with your sister, bro. Okay. So pretty much, what's going on? I'm here at Josh's house. It's Natalie's brother. And you know, obviously there's been some drama going on. Okay, so we're having this conversation like two grown adults, and this is my side of the video. You said you had what you have to say on your camera on your channel. And this is what I have to say. Alright, go ahead. So pretty much no, the stuff that we've been going that. through, I've so already said what I said online, but I can say it to your face. You dropping that prank? I already told you when I was there, and you can tell how I felt about everything that was going on. Everything that you were saying to your homeboy on the phone. That you was talking was well, talking to no. nobody. Okay, what I'm saying That's is tr- okay, but what I'm saying is that you obviously triggered something for me, bro, and I felt something. The moment I came in the house and you realized, okay, easy, is it she's not taking this joke lightly. Shouldn't put the freaking it. camera down, bro. What are you put the camera down. Put the camera down. What did you talk to me? Which one did you
Your coat Ooh. contains a probiotic strain lacto Watch the other one first. What happened? Did, what happened? did you run? Bro, bro did you no. try to stay in bro, I didn't run. You left. Bro, can I talk you to my friend? Right? Can I talk to my friend? I tried to talk to you. You had your pieces, bro. You had your pieces. It's my time to talk, bro. Oh, all of this drama that we've been, you know, dealing with for the past, what, two years? You don't even look open. Y'all already know I started No, he looked mad. Like he want to fight. We separated due to a specific argument. That me and Josh had, which literally left us to not be friends anymore. We were not friends after that conversation. I talked to you, you didn't talk to me for months because the shit that was said, some of the stuff that you were saying in that prank, literally was some of the stuff that you said that day. Exactly. Okay? But it's so, all stuff I've so, said to people before. No, it's bro, all stuff people said we to me. We ain't had that have, conversation. Have anyone ever called you egotistical? Bro, we're okay. not on that level, bro. So pretty much to break it down, you were asking, oh, why did, why did you come to Christmas? You fake. You should have done that. First and foremost, I came at Christmas because I put my ego aside. I told you guys that already. I told everybody that. I told Natalie that. You know what? Let me make sure I'm going to put my pride aside. We're going to have a good day. Not be like that. What do you think I did by inviting you? Okay, exactly. Let me talk. Bro, let me talk. Let me talk. I want to pause this. Regardless of the drama that me and you have, regardless of the stuff that we've been going through for the past two years, I'm going to make sure Christmas is a fun day. It's about giving. It's about spreading love. You see how positive, happy I was to be around your kids, around your girl, around Isaiah, everybody. Okay, that was genuine, bro. Face is mad, though. I did That's it for your sister. Face is red. Okay, I did it for your sister, bro. I did it for your sister, and it was real feelings. And, and, and I thought, and I thought that that was our progress video. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That was our progress moment. You it know was, what I'm saying? So, so for us to grow, and for us to, all right, you know, let's put the pool to the side, bro. So you want to wait till next Christmas? No, 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 no. What I want to do is not take this video no, no, bro. Me. I just don't want to take step backwards, bro. That's what you did when you did that. Oh, that's what I did. You should have put that so, shit so, out, bro. So, so, you should have put it out, bro. Well, you, I already explained how that went out. You said, okay, it doesn't right. matter. You, so you thought, you know what, and her feelings, it's already out to the editor, even though she ran off or whatever. You think, okay, well, she knows how this goes. That's how it goes. Come on, come on. But you know how pranks go. A lot of times someone can't will be like, oh, but okay, it's a prank. That's what we signed up for. And Not with you. Know. She didn't so sign up with that with you. When you prank Sasha. She, she didn't okay. sign up to, to deal with that with you. This is, this is. She didn't sign up for you to prank her, throw her emotions over the edge and then you upload it that's not what she signed up with you and if you know that there is bad blood there or there's ill feelings or there's dust unsettled you don't do that that's exactly what i said you didn't have to publish it you should have let it you know let it rest for a minute let it breathe talk about it talk to her make sure she was okay make sure natalie was okay in the middle of all of it and and you know what if you guys go back to the first our reaction video to this the first maybe one or two maybe third video i said because there is, you know, even though there was some, you know, some things going on with them, I still do feel like as a YouTuber or influencer, when you do those pranks, you, you're so, you get them mad, you get them pissed off and you still kind of edit and post them. You know what I'm saying? So I understand what she's saying about, you know, when you should have the conversation with me, but she was legit mad. And the matter you are, the more turned up you are, the more people... The, the, the more funner views the, you're gonna get. the more views, it's but at the same time, you just you just the video is just exciting. You know, people get pranked, and what if they? You know, she had a major reaction to it, so why not? Yeah, but even post it? hold on. But normally, let's let's consider any YouTubers we see when the when the videos go crazy big, right? Yeah. And their people are being emotionally tasked, right? Yeah. What usually happens at the end? You see people follow them. I want to make sure you're okay. I'm sorry, it was just a prank. Even, I'm sorry, but it was that, just a prank. He grabbed his camera. Now, again, it could have been edited 17 different ways, so we don't exactly know. What okay. we do know is the way she's telling the story, which is what I said, is that they just kind of went walked off. He ran out, grabbed his camera, came back I in mean, house, yeah, he should have called her. He should have called her. understand, think about context of what you're saying. When pranks get big and they're emotionally invested and people are upset and yeah. stuff like that, yeah. you say, it's a prank. I love you. Here, here's this candy. I'm no, yeah, this I mean, I'm even, these shoes. you're right. Whenever you know, easy gets pranked, she like, has a little, yeah. a little heart they thing. Yeah, they pause the camera, right? And, and she's like, and look at the, the footage to make sure. If one person's really upset, let me go back and see the footage to make sure this is a prank. We've seen Natalie request that before. Yeah. We've seen Easy request it before. The difference is in that moment, your goal is to make sure your person's yeah. still okay. You're right. He, could, he, he should have fixed it. Yeah, yeah, he should have apologized. Have fixed it. There's no reason he why that should have gone to the internet. He could He should have lived it, yeah. Being that upset. Okay. That's what I that's what I've been saying. Because he is a masculine, saying. he's a true masculine energy. I know they're he both. He wouldn't have done that with Zondra. But Josh also has a feminine energy 
as well. They both have the, I feel like they have 50-50 dominant feminine energy. And so what he's saying was, hey, it was a prank. And then let me just go back because I didn't want to, I didn't want to um, stop it because she was watching. So um, he was saying, you know, when he just said, I put my ego to the side when I came for Christmas. He's like, I put my ego to the side when I invited you for Christmas. Now you said that y'all was cool. Y'all was hanging out. So why would there be an ego at any point mm -hmm. during Christmas? So, that contradicts the last thing. That yeah, you just what he said. was just saying earlier. I, I said that too. I said there's, there's, mm -mm, it's a lot of y'all know about music, right? If you read the lines, there's a lot between the lines. There's a lot between what's being left out based on what I've said and pieced together. And again, I'm not, I'm just saying what appears to me, what I would like, what I would have wanted in my real life. In my real life, if that was me, and we're pranking each other, make sure I'm good. Don't just walk away with the camera and say, okay, it's good, and I'm going to go upload it while I'm sitting here crying. Well, you give it to the editor, Bunches and you laugh tears. about Yeah, it. I'm sitting here upset about the prank. I'm not Especially settled Especially if you're not it. editing the video. You're not spending hours and time editing. He's editing editing. these videos, so he sat there and edited it. No, he said he sent it to the editor. That means he sent it to the editor. He sent it to the editor? He sent it to his editor. So that means he could have been calling that her. That means he really had more time He had more to time to try to fix it. And then make it so they can laugh about it later. Yes. And I said that, too. They could have just... Anyway, let's, let's get back to it. What you think? It is, it is what it is. Let's, let's go. All right. When you do something to Isaiah, act not you, you reveal, oh, it's a prank, it's a prank, or whatever. Do you not console him? Do you not See? We just said that. Ain't that what I just said? Yeah. Like, all right, now you know that. You, we didn't talk at all. No, we didn't. We didn't talk we at didn't. all. And that goes. Right. You left to Miami. Right. Oh. She, she wasn't in Mexico. Mexico. You call me today. You was quick to call me today. Bro, look. Ain't that what I said? We just said that. How do you feel about me and the things that you say? And I feel like from my perspective, like, you're causing so much pain and drama in me and Natalie's life. Bro, do you think she's happy? Do you really think she's happy with this, bro? The fact that her he brother and her girlfriend... happy with her. I saw that in his face. Don't get along. Like, the stuff that you were saying to Natalie, like, you're making it seem like you don't want her to be with you, bro. I don't you, want her to be happy. And, and she that, is happy. And if that's not with you, then, yeah. I, then cool. Bro, but that is it's not cool. him to determine that. Didn't I, I say that before? Happy, Where have you been since we got together, bro? Since we were best friends? Since we left that family's project, bro? For 20 plus years. And she's the happiest she's ever been with me, bro. Oh, that's what you think. No, I know. That's what we know. That's what she says to you. Bro, that's what she tells you. I swear. Oh, my God. Dating her, bro. I'm with her. Wait a minute. Oh, hold. You know what? I don't know if I'm ready to watch this kind of video. I'm not ready. This is how you know he's the problem. Because that's what she tells you. I didn't meditate this morning. Guess what? Who is the only two people that matter in their relationship? Her and her. First of all. Because that's what she tells you? What, what, else do, what, what else do I judge it off of? You know, oh, you know what he sound like? He sound like the dude that's an ex-boyfriend. He so sound like a he new boyfriend. He's mad. This oh, is no, weird. No, he sound like the ex-boyfriend that dated that the and, and Natalie. Oh, and Easy's you're right, like the you're right, new you're boyfriend. Right. He's like, no, you. You're right. That's weird. And guess what? Why are you trying to demean or belittle their relationship right now? If y'all are supposed to be talking that about has nothing. To and do. I bet this probably pissed Natalie off. Natalie, I'm so sorry for you. I I feel so sorry. I'm for sorry. you in this situation. And this is ironic because I told her. I said you need the to day, call her. You need the to day that her. all of this happened. Mm -hmm. I, well, they, before we saw it, I had sent you a message and I was talking about how beautiful it is that you uplift your relationship and that for your lifetime, whether you choose to stay with Easy, whether you choose to stay with girls or whomever, you're going to always have to uphold your person, respect your person and value your person in the light and the face of others because others will never care for and regard your relationship the way that you do and the way that you're supposed to. And I literally just sent her that in the morning, not even knowing any of this had happened yeah, or was yeah, about yeah. to happen or was yeah. about to air or Oh, that already so happened. So I felt, I was like, oh, so maybe that was like, I was supposed to send that to her to know. I don't know. Yeah, that should just right there. But, you know, it's one of those things like, and like I said before, you shouldn't be in the middle. And the fact that you feel like you're in the middle to me is more upsetting because this is what your brother is doing your brother has started this and i know it's hard to look at your brother and feel like that because oh he's just i know this, she, oh he's just no 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 she oh, feels just, that way that's why she's hurting on the inside because yeah, but she the, loves the her brother only thing, hold she on. values listen, her brother even even listen, if he's being a bully always value him but listen listen you're gonna always value him and he's gonna always be your brother but what you have to do you are the only person who can stop this and i'm just i told you what i told her today I said, when something like this is happening, right, where you're in the middle and being taxed between the person that you love and your family, you are the only person that can stop it. True. And you have to, unfortunately, let your brother know, I'm happy. Easy makes me happy. 
and work on your relationship with easy. That's it. Your brother this may is not almost ever like, condone it, but guess is, what? It's not up to him to give you that support for you to be happy. What she's saying is stand in the middle. This is just like having a, a older brother and a big brother, and there's beef between the mm. brothers, the siblings. Mm. And just just as what's wrong? My hair. Don't worry about just it. Just as if you know, a, a parent, a, a mom has a has a um, another partner that's not their biological, and they're like a you know another part of the family. Stand in the middle, be that foundation. And I think you were at some point, and I just know at the same time it still hurts to have to go through it. I think for you, you just it sucks that you have you to go through it. You just don't want it to but be. But you have to understand that. that that you may not align with Josh. You guys are family, but that don't mean you guys have the same spirit and the same energy when it comes to or the same relationships. Desires, the same yeah, so you guys you are family, life. but you guys are still different, and you just gotta continue to lay down the line, let them know what it's gonna be. You and I promise you, I hate to tell you this, you will have to do this forever. Because you have a brother who loves you, and there's nothing wrong with that. But you have a brother who sees you almost like a daughter, like the, like a father would kind of protect his daughters. No, 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 can't. No, ain't nobody good enough for you. Go away. You know, running them away yeah. all the time. Because you have, he he has, yeah, you are. He might yeah, feel like because he nobody's has, good he's enough for. Always do this. Yeah. Now he's probably doing it more so because of his past and his history that easy. he knows. He knows. It. But that's Girl. not up to him. And I hate to tell you, I know you're sad, but the truth is, I'm gonna tell you like I tell her. If you're sad and you're the one who can fix it, stop being sad and just fix it. There's no need to be sad. Just stand in in between. I love you and I love you. This is my life and I'm happy with her. I need you to respect that. And I need you just to keep loving me so that he doesn't ever feel the need to be this way again. It's all you have to do, I promise you. I hear you, bro. Yeah, okay. I'm telling you. So the fact that you had this whole conversation with your sister, bro, how you look and how I'm seeing it, bro, it's like, damn, she can't even be happy. What do you think she's been doing for 365 days, bro? What do you think she's been doing? A, a step in a rut, crying? No, bro, she's happy. She's happy. So the only thing that she's not happy about is us not getting along. That's it. Okay? That's, That's the only thing she's not happy so about. So don't try to sit here and make it seem how, like it's me. See how I'm calm right now? Okay, be so calm. Okay, what? You can be calm. calm. You wasn't calm when the video started. started. Do that. Can I ask you something? Okay, what? If if you really cared, right, about my sister's feelings, then you really Why were you with a strip club in Miami? Why would you put that video out? Told that you. first video. Talking about why I don't like him. Right? Because I'm used to you. You know, on Twitter, sending right. cryptic little things on your Instagram stories about me in your in your comments. You know what I'm saying? I'm used to all that because I be no, I see okay, all. Easy face. All right, okay. Ooh, so why did you take it a step further if you really care? Because I'm tired. I'm tired of the bullshit. The problem is, oh, bro. Bro. Tired of you the that problem is she's not. doing what toxic people do, and they say I'm mad at how you responded to my bullshit. Not addressing their own bullshit, not addressing what they did wrong, not addressing what he could have done differently. Well, my question says, is... Wait, hold. He says to her, you didn't have to respond that way. Okay, but at the same time, I want to know, what did you want her to do? After posting the video... The problem is, whatever what she would chose you have to, do her to do is up to her own way and how she feels based on what he did. If he didn't do anything to start all that, there would have been nothing else that. There would have been nothing else. Not. He's still only saying, you didn't have to respond to me that way. You could have done something different. If you were mad at what I did, that's you should have done something different. That's the different. masculine energy, y'all. That's the masculine energy. You're but... mad at her for responding the way she did, but yet uh, not addressing what you did? I... It's crazy. I don't, I don't even know. I didn't even know what I was going to do after that, bro. I'm tired of this shit. So I'm tired, bro. Oh, my God. Bro, because you threw my sister under the bus. How did she throw her under the bus? What's happening? We're gonna find out. She threw her. Hey! Come on, D. You get to hook your music system up in the car? Yes. Oh, man, you don't have to get wired. You don't know if you can be with her. Bruh. Literally said you don't know if you can be with her. Bruh. 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 Because of you. You don't know how hard it is to deal with somebody that's literally out to work. Bruh. You don't know how to work. 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 Bro, she's already oh, happy. Why are you oh, telling her like you don't have you, have you talked to her? Yeah, was it me or was it you? It was both of us. Clearly, yes, I'm the one that sparked. I'm the one that said something about what you did. Mm -hmm. I, I said you know something I because the subliminal shit that you did, literally on the phone, you could have.
instead of being like, oh, easy, some comedic stuff, bro. You were saying the same stuff you were saying. Bro, I said comedic stuff. You know what you said, bro. Oh, you're being You know what you said. It was all me, bro. You know what you're what triggered you, bro? You know you're sensitive. Say it. I swear to God. Say it. He said you're just sensitive. Regardless if you want to call me sensitive or not, obviously there's something still bothering me. So the fact you put that video out, bro, it should it shouldn't even been nothing. It should have been a conversation whether I went to Miami or not. Talk to me. Period. Obviously, we got to like she is. Let me ask you a question. You don't think it's hypocritical that you say talk to me? But you said everything you had to say to a camera, right. but you didn't talk to me. No, bro. You no, put it you out talk to the me. Wait a minute. 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 This is crazy. She's supposed to contact you after you after you released uploaded the video, the video that she's mad about you doing in the first place. She was you supposed to call video, you. And she's supposed to call you and talk to you about how. I'm telling you, this is some toxic nonsense. Uh, I'm going to tell you what I will always say. I don't, I'm not about picking sides. It is about what's right. And you cannot be mad at somebody for how they choose to respond to your behavior until you're addressing your behavior. You can't be mad and say, well, you shouldn't have said this. I may should not have said that, but you still are the source of everything and how this started. Even that, he's saying, instead of you picking up a camera, you should have called me. Well, why didn't he call her when and she left? And if you loved her, why did why are you? Why didn't why he call her when video? she left? He sent it to the editor and still didn't call her. He had more. Come on, man! All you right. can't do that. You can't say that she should have done all these things that you didn't do. Don't edit that out. Let that be heard. That's the truth. It's I, not about not supporting anybody. I already anybody. see. We thirteen minutes in, and I see that I don't think they got anything. No, they ain't got nothing resolved. Seven this. minutes left, and um, they ain't nothing resolved. But ain't nothing gonna be resolved like this. First of all, this is nothing. Yeah. This is the only thing that needs to happen right here. This could happen they today. They need to just hire a mediator. No. It costs $20 an hour. Listen. Get no, a mediator. Not, no, no, no. Natalie. Natalie, honey. Stand in the middle of your girlfriend and your brother and let your brother know that she makes you happy. Period. That's all I'm out Period. She makes me happy. Right now, at this point in my life, I'm happy with her. I'm safe with her her you don't have to try to guard me you don't have to try to protect me i'm good with her that's you're the only one that can fix this all this back and forth easy going over here to try to fix it easy can't fix it and your brother won't let it just be easy can't fix it this is you no no that's not even a mean thing that's not a bad thing this is you that's your brother that's your brother coming down on your girlfriend because he doesn't think that you make that easy makes you happy so the only person who can fix this is you, letting him know in Easy's presence that you're happy. That should fix it, because your brother should want to see you happy. He just said that, right? I said that in the last video. Your siblings are supposed to want to see you happy. And not on their terms, on your own terms. And if Easy's the one who's making you happy right now, he should be good with that. Yep. All right. Let's go. All right.
I'm it. finding I'll say it. No, my, no, my, I don't say it. Bro, you care, bro. You don't care now, bro. Obviously, I'm hurt, bro. You said what I said, bro. You, course, said, bro. No, you know that we're I like hell as fuck, bro. Of course I care. No, you don't, bro. No, no you don't, bro. Two years, we barely talk, man. We barely right, talk. Right, and now you talking about your sister, bro. Like, you don't, you know that I love your sister. You know I'm in love with your sister, bro. Calm down. Calm down. I get it. I know you love her. All right, but you understand my loyalty doesn't, doesn't lie that. to you. Sure. It doesn't lie to your relationship. It lies to my sister. All right. I just now said. I do care about you. No, you, you, you yes, don't. I do. You don't. What are you yeah. talking about? He doesn't. If, if I could choose, I would love to have you date my sister without all the BS. Now you want to blame BS me for of it? Him. I blame you for it. Let's just say it's, it's in the middle. But either way, I care about you. Let me ask you a question. Why do you think? I invited you to come over, bro, because I missed you. Okay? No, you. That's not why. Because if there was no other reason, if you can't, because you can't come up with another reason. Exactly. I've been coming out of this ego and been those like. for like damn near two years. I invited you over because I missed you. I wanted to chill with you. All right, and I figured Christmas was a good time to do it. Now, did I take things too far? Maybe prank you too early because I didn't know how those things would really still trigger you. Then yes, maybe I didn't think that through. They're gonna apologize. But that doesn't mean I don't care, bro. Right? It does mean that. You understand? Like that don't mean I don't care. I invited you because I missed you. I did that I the same because thing. I wanted to say see I your care face again you don't care. when you're laughing. It doesn't work that way. When you're happy, okay? You should have just said that, bro. What do you mean? Like, I was trying to tell you all three, bro. You could have just talked to me, bro. You have to understand. You came in that door and I was smiling, right? Now you thought I was smiling because I was just trying to like egg you on. I was smiling because I'm like, yo, guy, what's up? It's a prank. You get what I'm saying? I do care about you. In the same way you feel it, I feel the same thing. Okay? I feel like how does someone how does someone care about me that's gonna drag me publicly? You know I haven't said nothing about you on Twitter. You feel me? Why? Because I care. Now to see someone that supposedly cares about me look at me like their own brother, then I can say the same thing that you're saying right now. That this is just a person that don't give a damn about me. Obviously, um, what was it? Tissue. Um, you know, <laughs> it's, it's just been a lot of hurt, though. Um, and you can and sense that. I just, you know, you like my, my big brother. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I can't look at Ease. I had to look at Ease in the last five minutes. She gonna make me cry. Now I don't got time for so it. bad, so like, you know, when she don't cry, I cry. Happened, like I said, like, that was genuine to me. Yeah, like, bruh, it was, I was. And it was, that was pure, like, damn. Like, imagine if we didn't fall out. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was the feeling that I I, I prepared myself with. Like, you know what? All right, it's Christmas. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to go in there like nothing ever happened. And that's what I was feeling. You know what I'm saying? So to, to be reminded in that, that there were good times that you did to me, it was just like, Damn, like all that shit just start happening. The feelings, every emotion, everything that happened that night. Why we weren't cool? Why I stopped doing the family project? Why I just was done? You know what I'm saying? So it just like triggered that emotion. So it's just like, bro, I've been hurt for two years, years. bro. We were like close, bro. She don't believe that. Like, we, we definitely Based on what he's been doing. My sister says that really pisses me off when I'm upset with you. Is that we're like. Like, say that shit all the time. Like, it pisses me off, especially like if I'm mad at you. So I'm like, nah, like I don't like her. Blah, blah, blah. But you know, deep down, I feel like we both know that we'll be more similar than not. So you know, they're here. The apology, they're here. I'm sorry. If, uh, there's one thing, but to say it is a whole other. But hmm? I am sorry. He's yeah. looking at her. He looks very genuine. This is beautiful. You know, to go to this level, like where it is. I hurt you the way that I did. I hurt myself. She's still fighting tears. I hurt my sister. Mm -hmm. I wasn't looking at you. I told you I don't want to cry. That takes a lot for me to say, but it's true. She looks relieved. She's a hell of a way for you to say I'm sorry. So I I really appreciate that, and I feel like. You know, it sucks that it had to come through like this, you know what I'm saying? Um, being blown out on social media. Um, but I appreciate it, you know, I 
really it really means a lot because I do love you and I do have love for you and your family, everybody. You know what I'm saying? So to hear you say those things, it just broke me. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't know how to react, but anger. You feel me? And I just feel like the way I went about it was just disrespectful. It was rude. It was childish. Um, you know. But, yeah. And I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have did that. I shouldn't did that at all. And I should just been woman enough to talk to you. If I was woman enough to pick up the camera, I should have just been woman enough to just look, bro. I please like specifically. But saying, I understand why she did. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. I apologize for that. I apologize, you know, everything that I even said that I, you know, what mm-hmm. led to us to even be here. Yeah. You know, I love you, right? Oh, man. Oh, I really do. I love you like you're my brother, bro. necessary that was necessary that was necessary listen let me tell you guys what i've said a thousand times i'm sorry goes a long way but his sincerity in his tone and his face means that he will do different from this day going forward i can promise you they both I can promise you they both had a strong easy was sigh relieved. relieved yeah and you could just when she did that saw she did the yeah <sighs> and it was like Shoulders down, just you can see the, if you like ever the, the boulder like, come, the weight lifted. You can see the weight lifted off off of her shoulders. I think it's beautiful. I'm gonna I'm gonna say what I would always say. I think this is beautiful. Yeah. Um. I think reconciliation. This is a good place to start. It's gonna take work consistently every day. It's gonna take not bringing it back up. It's gonna take not triggering that um, feeling anymore. It's gonna take time. It's not gonna happen just because we hugged it out and you said, I'm sorry, and I said, I'm sorry. It's still gonna take you being mindful of the fact that you did say those things and you can't recreate that space. You know, so this is the beginning and it's beautiful, but this is not everything. The work is gonna be done every day that y'all see each other, don't see each other, what's said on Twitter, what's said on social media, you know, the, the prank videos, the work is still gonna be there. But now it's just beautiful. time for Easy to prank him back. <laughs> no, Easy should not prank him back right now. Let that let it breathe now. Let it breathe. What? No, oh, I know breathing. With Natalie, but all I, I know all breathing. I'm gonna say is now. Do you know what it feel like now? Natalie, Natalie, Natalie. That was one of the best Natalie. videos ever. The, the, uh, the possessed, the when you thought she, she was possessed shrine. wearing your underwear. That was the best. Anyway, so, oh. no, obsessed. Not, obsessed. I'm sorry, I said the wrong word. Obsessed wearing your drawers. That was the best ever. I laughed like right. Natalie. Wait, but I'm getting ready to tell you, hon. You have to. You have to um, understand that you had more power in this situation than you were willing to exert. And if it ever comes down to the situation again. Pause this for a second. If it ever comes down to a situation again where your brother is feeling like the father figure and protective of his baby sisters, and again, that just comes with having an older brother, especially if the father figure wasn't around, whatever the situation is, that's going to always be the case. You have to stand in your power to let your brother know you're okay. You have to. He's going to always still be your big brother, but he can't feel like he's saving you from everybody and everything because it's going to always be this this locking horns with everybody. And it's going to cause a rift. And you're really the only one that can fix it because you're the one that it's about. It's about you. So always, again, stand up for your relationships. If they're worth it and you're investing in them and they're good for you and they're good to you, then you should be able to stand up and say, hey, this is good. This person's good for me. I love them. We're good, brother. I'm okay. Do that from now on out. That would take away all of this two years of drama. And I'm not blaming you because they're both their own adults. But I'm saying you're the only one who could have stopped this years ago. Years ago. Anyways. All right. Yeah, well, there you have it. Uh, Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And like I said, once you guys subscribe, we will subscribe back. So we're doing subscribe for subscribe for the first thousand. She said that like she from Texas. Say it again. Subscribe for subscribe. Say yeah. Subscribe for subscribe. <laughs> I think you're missing the B in the second one. Subscribe for subscribe. It's getting worse. I'm sorry, Texas. Say it fast 12 I'm times. I'm making you talk in Texas. Subscribe, subscribe for, for subscribe. subscribe. I am saying my Bs. Got to read my lips. It's all right, Texas. Don't worry about it. So, so yeah, that's what we're doing, y'all. Um, stay connected. Um, we actually and have... I- 
I want to know. Oh, don't start. I know. I said I have to stop doing it. You made me cuss you. Okay. I, I want to know what do you guys think? Um, what is your guys' point of view? Have you guys ever been in a relationship or in, a, in the middle of a situation? What do you think could have been done to fix it? What do you think you would have wanted somebody to do to fix it? Um, what do you think Natalie should have done? That's what do you question. think, you know, uh, should him just mind his business, you know? I mean, what, what do you think? I just, I really want to know, like, people's real true thoughts. Like, how, what would you do? How would you handle the situation? You know, all that stuff. I want to know. Anyway. And please tell me that you guys are elated and happy that they, they're able to set our differences. They, they did more than set the differences aside. They actually reconciled. That's and what you apologized, do. You apologize. And they you hugged it out. out. She hugged him. She hugged him like for she, real. She ain't let him go. She didn't, she that's didn't what he said. You ugly and whatever. And she dived on him even harder. That's did you see that now? Did you see it? Did, did you, you see it? I got 17 minutes. Oh, oh go okay. watch the rest. It's, it's okay. Well, we can't. Well, I don't want to tell you the rest. So go watch yeah. the rest. But anyway. So... Make sure you guys say, you want to come in and say hi? Hi, love. It's my beautiful princess. As it's All right, y'all. Shirt. We'll stay connected. We'll see y'all on the next one. Peace. You rat rat? Yeah. You going to sit up? Go. I'm sitting up. I'm just going to be me. I need to tell you, I'm not about to be doing all this performing. Girl, Princess, I ain't about to perform. This is stuff. Just be chilling. Oh, damn. Oh, that glare. Can you see that? And Josh. From the family top, project. From the family. All right, so. <clears throat> so the name. I never got the name of it. Um, gotta make that money. Gotta honey. make that money. Gotta make sure you support. Money, honey. You support whoever you watch, you know. Um, so. I ain't gonna watch them 12 ads. I watched about six of them. So, you guys who have subscribed, you are actually been subscribed I subscribed to you guys this morning so um if you guys have any content we'll, we'll check you guys you're out you're supposed to well. let them go first huh? okay. they okay. already subscribed oh okay I'll subscribe back okay to okay them. okay now that's cool that's good thank you yeah guys. so yeah we thank appreciate you appreciate that. that and we're gonna you know go ahead and uplift y'all while y'all continue to uplift us we're gonna rock it like that yeah yeah <laughs> Thank you.